Hello, I am Margarita and I'm an Italian living in Scotland. My YouTube channel is all about discovering Scotland through the eyes of a person who has honestly fallen in love with this country. In this video, we will be visiting haunted closes, a cathedral, a royal palace and the royal castle. And that is because we're on the Royal Mile in Edinburgh. The Royal Mile is considered the backbone of Edinburgh's old town, and it is not actually a mile, it is 107 yards in length. It's also one of the most popular places for tourists to visit because there's St. John's Cathedral, a place of worship dedicated to the medieval saint who looked after the lepers, a disease that I'm guessing was very common back then, the heart of Midlothian that marks the location of one, a toll booth, two, the entrance to a prison, and three, an execution point, the real Mary King's Close, where you can take a guided tour of underground spaces, spiky tunnels, and caves that are very much hunted. John Knox's house, the most influential Protestant figure of the English Protestant Church. Legend has it that he used to preach from the window located on the first floor of his house to the people on the street. And the Scottish Parliament, where duly elected members discussed the legislation and policy making of their developed government. St. John's Cathedral is the parish church of the Church of Scotland. It was founded in the 1120s and it is a place full of history. It survived the Scottish Reformation, it is John Knox's parish church, and most recently it was one of the many resting places of Queen Elizabeth II. Before the Reformation, it was actually Catholic and it was attended many times by Mary Queen of Scots before she was crowned. Within the church, there are over 25 stained glass windows, all in memoriam, and it could easily take you the whole day to visit them individually. The term close comes from the Scots name for alleyway, which is the narrow street reached by a common entrance of a series of apartments, and the close was usually named after one of the most influential residents of the apartments. The Royal Mile is filled with different closes, and honestly, each one of them is super interesting and has a very cool backstory. This right here is Lady Stairs Close, and it was named after the 17th century townhouse called Lady Stairs House. The name comes from the widow of the first resident of the Close. Within the Close, you can come and visit the Writers' Museum, which celebrates the lives of Sir Walter Scott, Robert Louis Stevenson, and Robert Burns. So there you have it, guys. The Royal Mile, or Edinburgh's High Street, has loads to offer. Between its central position, we are actually at the footstep of the Mile, this right here, the Scottish Parliament. It is full of history and cool alleyways. And this is only a taste of what you can see up on the Royal Mile because trust me, there's loads of things that you can still discover. Let me know in the comments below if you, there's any other places around the country that would like for me to visit. Until next time, or as I would say, grazie mille e alla prossima.